Hello, it's a Sunday in April, and I'm going to April 26, 2015. I'm going to review my notes from the Watchtower. Imitate Jesus' humility and tenderness. How would you answer? Why is Jesus worthy of imitation? He succeeded in following what the Father had sent him into the world to do how can you imitate jesus in showing humility be polite how can you imitate jesus in showing tenderness say something nice and uplifting and then how do you imitate jesus in humility and tenderness work for god each hour christ suffered for you leaving a model for you to follow his steps closely. 1 Peter 2.21 uh, Okay, so let's see. Next page. Usually I, when I take notes, I, I cross out the things that are not useful to me. So here, I have my alarm going off. Every half hour I put the alarm on. So it's 7, 7.30, 8 o'clock. Got the alarm on now. Uh, what is humility? Paragraph 4, that's politeness. Showing humility. How would you define humility? Politeness. And then his attitude. Whenever there is a job for you to do, a task, do it with a positive attitude, not complaining. Oh, I got to walk all the way over there. I got to work in this hot sun. Uh, if only so-and-so had listened to me, I'd be a millionaire by now. Uh, a lot of these things, right? So instead... I change my brain to my thoughts. I change them to thank you, thank you, thank you. And I just start doing the work. For instance, in the job I'm doing now, I used to be the only driver. Well, for a time there were two of us, then I was the only one. And then now I have a bunch of time off uh, because there are two drivers again. So God listens to your prayers. Uh, he sent another driver to help, help me out. Imitate Jesus in his speech. He never called undue attention to himself. Well, I love attention. That's why I make videos. Also, when I was a child, I was in front of the TV, and I was ignored by the adults. They would not even speak to me or look at me. So, I do love attention. Perhaps that's how teachers are created. All right, Daniel, don't bully others. Here is one. Imitate Jesus' humility. Don't bully others, verbally, mentally, or physically. Well, physically, I won't bully other people. Mentally... Well, I do get things. I, I do get things done by persuading other people, but I, I don't believe I abuse that. For instance, if I see the dad and he's cutting the grass, then I automatically start playing with his son, so that his son will not run out there and get hit by something that flies in the air and hits the boy in the eye when the dad is cutting the grass. I read a book that said, don't be meddlesome. However, in the childcare classes I took, it said, do things in favor of the children. 
So if I look weird because I'm playing with a child while his dad is cutting the grass, I look weird. But at least that child is not getting a piece of glass in the eye or something. All right, don't bully others verbally. Hmm, this one's tough for some people. For me, it's easy. I'm not going to be name calling, but I do name call. There's a lady I know, and I saw a movie that described her, Spitfire. She was just such a angry person that she would, whatever her, she said was, was like spitting fire or something mean. All right. Maybe you know someone like that. You gotta keep your distance from them. Ah, here it is. A tender person is moved to make a difference in the lives of others. That's quoting from page eight of the Watchtower, February 15, 2015, which is being read in April 26. Well, actually, last week or the week before. Go help others. All right. So those are my notes. Our tender actions. All right. And here's a question. Is there someone that needs a ride, transportation, to get to the meetings or go to the ministry or go to the doctor? Even a small act of kindness can make a big difference. Some people say, I don't have a job. I believe I do. Driving this person here to there, that is a job. All right, here's some motivational speech. Jehovah deeply cares for his servants who are brokenhearted. Psalm 34, 18. Brokenhearted or crushed in spirit. All right. So that's, that's, those are my notes from that day. I haven't been able to find paper, so that's why I haven't written anything down. I write on the margins of these things. All right, so I made the video. Go do a good deed. Go help somebody. What else? Brush your teeth. The first defense is not to offend anyone. And yes, uh, people that are close to you, they'll tell you. Go brush your teeth. Some of them will be rude. Some of them will be polite about it. But... Brush your teeth before you go talk to anyone, as much as possible. I travel with a toothbrush. All right, go do a good deed for somebody. God bless you and God bless those that surround you. If you need help, call on God. If you want to talk to me, uh, go ahead, <laughs> All right, send me an email. I'll respond eventually. You could I have two emails, but either one you could write to me. I the one I I upload my videos to one email. Daniel the teacher. But I I haven't become a teacher yet. I had so many obstacles that I didn't I didn't go over. So that's why I started another email called Daniel Carone 1972 at gmail.com. That's why I wouldn't have to explain to people why I have Daniel the teacher at gmail.com. Because then they'd say, Oh, are you a teacher? Well, actually, no, I didn't quite make it. So that's why I, I did that. But I still use both emails. God bless you. See you in the next video.